Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and I want to show you guys today how the Binance futures platform works and how you can actually trade Binance futures um, on the platform. If you don't have a Binance account yet, I put a link down in the description that you can use and with that link you can actually save 10% on trading fees and that also works for the futures platform on Binance. So you can actually save there as well if you use that link to sign up on Binance. The first thing we need to do if we want to trade on Binance is we need to put some money into Binance. Um, so usually we do that via our fiat or spot wallet. So fiat is basically every fiat currency that is traded on Binance like euros or British pound or Australian dollar. And spot is basically every cryptocurrency that is traded on Binance. And we could easily um, deposit something on Binance in our spot wallet and then move it to our futures wallet. So as you can see, there's a separate futures wallet. And um, so if you want to trade futures, you need to move some money from your spot wallet into your futures wallet. And you can do that instantly. So it's an off-chain transaction. And so it's only handled um, on Binance on the background. So you don't pay any fee for it and it's instant. So you will receive your money from your spot into your futures wallet within a second or so. So that goes very quick. Um, we will have a look at how to transfer money into our futures wallet in a few seconds. So first of all, let's go to the futures platform and we can see here under derivatives, we can actually see there's a USD futures platform and a coin margin futures platform. So the difference is basically USD basically means um, you are trading against USDT, so Tether as an underlying asset and coin margin futures would basically mean you are trading against a cryptocurrency as an underlying asset. So most people actually trade USD margin futures. So that basically means if you do a su successful trade, you increase your USDT, your Tether position. And if you do a successful trade here, you would increase your Bitcoin position or your Binance coin position, whatever you're trading against. So as I said, um, most people trade against USD and it's also a way easier to understand at the beginning. So let's go there. Once we click there, we can see the interface and you can see the chart here. So you can basically see the candles here, like one candle right now is four hours. You can ch change that to one hour. Then you have the order book here with all the sell and buy orders and you have your interface to buy something. So the first thing we want to do is we want to transfer money from our spot wallet to our futures wallet. And as you can see here, we just click transfer and then spot to futures wallet and I could transfer here 2,600 USDT. I can say, okay, I want to transfer half of it, click confirm and the money would be there immediately. And of course I can transfer it back anytime I want. So that's also quite easy to do. So once we have money into our futures account, we can select what we actually want to trade. Um, let's keep it easy and say we want to trade Bitcoin. And as you can see, BTC, they're actually perpetual futures or quarterly futures. And as the name already suggests, perpetual contracts have an, don't have an expiration date. So they run theoretically forever. And quarterly futures have an expiration date. So if you are trading quarterly futures um, here, that would basically mean this one expires on March 26th and this one would expire on June 25th. And as you can see, the prices for perpetuals are actually a bit cheaper and quarterly the prices are usually a bit higher. Um, the main reason for that is that you are paying funding if you are trading a perpetual contract. So funding basically means if you're in a position and a lot of people are long and only a few people are short, there needs to be some balance between that. And that's why um, you have to pay longs, have to pay shorts in that case. That means the funding would be positive 
And that would mean every eight hour they charge you around 0.0345%. And that percentage you can actually change depending how many people are long or short. So if you are long, you would actually pay every eight hours um, this amount. However, it can change um, every few minutes. You could also, um, if you are short, that would basically mean you are receiving that money every eight hours. And sometimes funding is negative. That would basically mean shorts pay long. So if you are long, you would receive money if the funding is negative. And if you are short, you would have to pay. Um, however, you only have to pay if you are in, the, in a position um, or in a contract if the countdown runs to zero. So if you are closing one second before the countdown runs to zero, you don't have to pay anything and open up afterwards um, you also don't have to pay you only have to pay when the time is up here um, then you can also set your leverage here so you can for bitcoin for example you could trade 125x leverage however that would mean that you get liquidated when the price only drops by less than 0.8 percent so um, which can happen very easily. So I only recommend trading less than with a leverage of less than 10x, more like 5x max. So once we set our leverage, we can also choose if we want to do cross or isolated margin. And um, that's basically only interesting if you have several positions open. So isolated would mean you can set a certain amount of money for every position. And cross would basically mean here just the leverage automatically, depending on the amount of money you have in your futures wallet. However, if you only have one position, it doesn't may really make that much of a difference. Um, if you are using all your money in one position, you can choose cross. However, you could also do isolated. It's only interesting if you have several positions um, then you should do isolated margin. That's basically it. And besides Bitcoin, you could also trade any cryptocurrency that you want here. Once we have done that, um, we can take a look at the orders. So you can do a limit and a market order. It's fairly easy. Uh, market order, you just say how much of Bitcoins you want to buy and a limit order and the order would get filled immediately. Like if you go long here, um, it would open up the order immediately and you could also go short. So that's when you're betting on a price that the price falls for Bitcoin, for example. So long short and a limit order basically means you can set a price. You can say, okay, if the price of Bitcoin goes to 58,000, for example, I want to open a short. And you can say, okay, 58,000. And then you can open a short position and um, it will stay as an open order in your order book until the price reaches that level. And once it reaches that level, it would open and the position. You could also say, okay, I want to open a position if the price drops to to let's say 49,000 and then I want to buy, um, invest all my money into Bitcoin and then it would open that position. So that's basically it when it comes to trading. There's one more thing I want to show you and there's also a leaderboard where you can go to and then you can click on user sharing and then you can see what some people made as a daily ROI, return on invest or a weekly or monthly, and then you could actually, you have to um, click here for users sharing position. So some users are actually willing to share their position. So you can just click here and you could see what their position is. And you could actually follow them and you will receive a notification every time he makes a trade. So that's also a good way to trade on the Binance Futures platform if you just follow some people and see what they are looking. However, I wouldn't invest too much money um, into it because you have to know even the best traders and um, don't win every trade. They also have a lot of losing trades. 
It just that they make more money with their winning trades than they lose with their losing trades. So that's basically it. If you have any question, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you don't have an account, please use my link to save an additional um, 10% on Binance Futures fees. And as I said, the fees are um, quite fair here on the Binance Futures platform. And if you find that video helpful, and please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.